Hello, ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen, probably just gentlemen. What's going on? Uh, usually I record my audio in the game through the uh, headset, but this time I didn't select the right audio option. On the Quest 2 headset, you have the option of either recording the game or you can also record your party but the party microphone only picks up like me it doesn't pick up the entire party like say playstation does so a lot of my videos if you notice when i'm playing to four are very one-sided conversations because you can't hear the other person because we're in a private party and not in the game chat and yes we can switch back and forth between game chat but the meta quest two headset is i don't know something's wrong with its chromosomes and it doesn't work right when you try to do that so when you flip back and forth some most of the time it ends up literally just not knowing what it's doing and then one of you can hear the other one but you can't both hear each other and either you can hear and not talk or talk and not hear and it's a mess and then you end up having to like leave the call and it's as I said, a mess. Some games, the audio is fine in game and you can, you know, team up, talk to each other. Ghost of Tabor does not allow for that. Even as a squad, you don't get like a private channel. Uh, one of my biggest gripes about Ghost of Tabor actually is that because if I'm trying to play with somebody and we want to hear each other and have really clear audio, as soon as the match is over, we can't talk to each other. As soon as we die, we can't talk to each other. Before the match starts, we can't talk to each other, so it's kind of annoying. Uh, a lot of the really good YouTubers use different PC-related options in Discord to circumvent that. I am not that cool. I'm very uh, minimum effort, as in my technology should do everything for me. The PlayStation 4 has been automatically linked to YouTube forever. And you can just record, upload straight to YouTube. You can live stream, broadcast straight to YouTube. And then the PlayStation 5, same thing, improved on it. Xbox, no. Xbox is still trying to figure out how to fucking get people to buy it, apparently. So they haven't even attempted to be any good for content creators. Um, unless you go through extra steps and... It was not worth it for me. So I'm sticking with my minimal effort, record from headsets, record from built-in technology, no capture cards, all that stuff. Uh, I do all my editing on my PS5 now uh, using Share Factory, And uh, that's three minutes of shit that you didn't really care about because you're watching a Ghost of Tabor video. Uh, this time around was one of our latest purple runs. And if you know then you know we got a really good spawn for having a purple run and we are just working our way over to the purple card building uh if you've been watching me play i'm not as awesome as some of those other people in fact my teammate is the highlight he gets all the kills he's usually making all the good moves and i'm just there to uh be back up and a loot drop for him and so that's what I'm doing now, scoping out the area. We saw a guy over there, and we were engaging. There's a few areas he could have gone to. We're pretty sure we know which one he went to. And we're going to just go ahead and do our thing. Uh, in the meantime, I haven't been posting lately because I've had a wreck. I had to move all of my stuff out of my room, my stuff being my TV and my PlayStations and the things I use on a daily basis for things such as this. Uh, some water from the ceiling issues and I live in a slightly younger than me crap ass trailer. I mean, I'm sorry, they hate when we call it that. It's a mobile home. It's a mobile home. We don't live in a trailer. <clears throat> Forgive me. I'm not white trash. I'm white garbage. White garbage garbage anyway as you can see we're making our way to the purple uh, i haven't been upgrade updating uploading i haven't been doing anything because i had to take all my stuff out of my room couldn't use it and uh then i've been rearranging my other 
Look at this guy just hopping around, fucking dumbass. There's two of us, you dumbass, naked, hopping around. Sorry, distracted. I've uh, been doing eBay. Um, that's been actually pretty steady. It's not like I'm not going to become one of those eBay YouTuber reseller guys, but I need to downsize my collection of stuff as well as upsize my wallet because I, well, I don't even have a wallet, you know? So... That's actually been going pretty decent. Uh, maybe I'll flash up a graphic if I haven't already. Some shitty hand-drawn, like, advertisement. Because that's how I do it! Anyway, um, working on some purple card here. And we are just defending because there are definitely people around town. Uh, but this is purple card on island. You gotta just go for it at some point, so... Uh, pro tip for anybody, uh, if you got two people doing it, I usually like have one person designated to just run in first. If you have three people, one guy covers, stay out of the window areas, and then guy number one opens door, guy number three is covering, guy number two runs in when the door is open enough, guy number one runs in after him, guy number three comes in behind, you divvy out the loot, you figure out who's taking what, what's what, and then always have somebody covering but do not be in the doorway and try to stay out of that doorway because you can get shot from the hill through the windows very easily. It's the only spot you gotta worry about. So the guy covering should be in a position where he's either covering that hill and that through the windows so that he's at least safe enough to be able to shoot back or call out that there are people there or be in a position where you can see that and not be shot. Either way, that's my pro tip for handling the purple card here. Uh, for the most part, it's pretty simple because your only place of getting shot is from the hill outside those windows outside the door. So if you stay deep inside there or towards the, the window in the little room, that side of it, you'll be out of view from the hillside outside. Now, if you get through all of that, then you have to worry about campers. Uh, you should have ears, so you should be able to hear if there's any, like, people that have made it very too close. But still, people hide in the little bunkers. People get real close, and they can get you on the way out. So you got to be mindful of campers. Um, you'll see here probably in a second if I don't do any editing or anything uh, why it's important to also just always keep an eye out your windows on your way out because even if you are keeping an eye on the hill You might miss You might miss something uh, And this purple was decent actually uh, There was a few that I've I think the last one that was in a, or one of the ones coming up or the last one video uh it was terrible. We've had some good ones and some bad ones. We've had some good purples with a crate with a airdrop as well. And I've had a bad purple with a bad airdrop. So it's a mixed bag. You never know what you're going to get. Uh, it is typically worth it though to go ahead and run those things. If not for the challenge, I mean, it's just fun. But like I said, it's always good to look out your windows because uh, I just happened to spot that guy and that just saved us the probably the rest of the match um i don't know if he knew that there was two of us but my play was to move slowly crouch because you don't make any noise and just hold that corner because he was most likely going to come in and if he comes in there holding and i'm holding this corner then my buddy can pop out the door and and, and take the front angle if I flippity flop like I do. But that's purple, like I said. Anyway, how are you guys doing? How's it been? It's crazy week, right? My god, these last two weeks. I don't know about you guys, I'm tired of living through historic events in my life. My god. I've 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 seen so many on TV. So many. I watched a kindergarten teacher blow up. Sorry, that's kind of weird, but Challenger, Space Shuttle, Space Launch, had him malfunction. Anyway, that was a down note. 
I didn't want to talk about the actual news, so I just... I pivoted. And, uh, speaking of pivoting, my friends, I have not seen any good games lately. The gaming space is junk. I haven't had time to play a lot of VR. I got a tactical VR video that I dropped a, like, a little bit ago, and it was just a little silly two-minute video because they added a uh, mission that's basically the, uh, basically Epstein Island video, uh, video, Epstein Island mission, where you're on an island, you gotta kill a guy that looks suspicious, suspiciously like him, then you have to recover his laptop and get out, and it's pretty fun, but... Um, again, I haven't had a lot of time to play VR. My buddy, he got a new job that has made his time also limited. So, and then I haven't been able to upload videos and edit them. So I haven't been recording a lot of the times that we have been playing. Otherwise, like I said, it's been real life stuff. I've got one, two, three. I've got five. Can't. Uh, coin operated candy machines like gumball machines i got two gumballs one mysterious toys and then two candy machines i've been working on like restoring and putting back into operation gumball candy machines and then hopefully do something with them i'll tell you guys a secret secretly i would love to just have like my own shop in the front, you walk in, gumball machines, pinball machines, quarter, quarter machines, you know? Old school, arcade, like when I was a kid. That's just the lobby. It opens into a fucking, like, collectibles resale, like, you know, a little store. Cards and collectibles, Funko Pops, all the shit that people love to buy and collect and sell and trade and blah 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 nerd shit as well as i don't know other stuff and then maybe in the back like a tattoo shop or something just hit all three at once just get like a warehouse building and just do it all but you know those are dreams and everybody that i've seen do youtube seems to do youtube because they have some other dream and that's been how i am so if it takes another five years I'm gonna do it. By then, you won't be able to even speak your own language. You'll have to have everything run through AI because Google will not allow you free speech. In fact, me just saying this is probably gonna get my this video flagged. Sorry guys, I'm a huge proponent of the freedom of speech and the freedom of art and the freedom of expression. And I understand that from an advertiser's point of view, you might be able to say, well, I don't want somebody who says these things to be running my advertisements on your their videos. And to that, I say, okay, then fuck off. Or I say, Google, you should have the balls to say, look, if you want to advertise on our platform, the biggest platform for eyeballs that exist on the internet, if you want to advertise on our platform, that's fine. But you need to be aware that your video, your ads might run over videos that do not support what you, what you support. And if that's okay with you, then we can proceed. It is not the creator's fault. It is not up to the creators to, to put a muffler on themselves and govern themselves just so that advertisement advertisers can feel happy about it when really we know what it's about it's because youtube took over what used to be television and now advertisers are scrambling because nobody watches tv and tv was paid for by advertisements the only reason we had tv channels and shows is because advertisers fucking companies got together you know companies anyway i'm sorry i've been on a deep dive with the tinfoil hat lately uh whenever crazy things happen i go deep in the deep in the paint <clears throat> i've been around for a while i've seen a lot of shit and i've been doing quote unquote tinfoil shit for a very long time and let me tell you when something sparks off i start going nuts and right now everything's a conspiracy so i apologize for my rant no i don't free speech america baby eagle screech Rawr! i'll probably put some graphics there and with that said as you can see we made it out of the purple room 
And we are on our way across the map to our extraction, I guess. I don't know. Since I can't hear us talking, uh, I have to assume we're just going straight for the extract at this point. Which, the extract is typically uh, on an opposite end of the map than where you spawned at. So, we have to go legging it uh, to the docks, most likely. Docks is one of my least favorite extracts. The fear that I get from from rats, I, I very rarely actually had to deal with dock rats, but it's a real problem and uh, it's a real fear. And uh, so it, it used to be one of my favorite extracts because it felt safer, but now it it's not because it, it like I said, became a, a rat hole. But we are pretty late. Uh, a lot of people have died. Um, there's, I think, what, up to 12 people on the map. So I think we've probably killed, or not we, but like, I think at least half of them are dead. And some of the others have probably extracted. So it's, it's pretty safe to say that we don't have to worry too much about players, but that's the point at which you actually worry more about the rats because those are the people that are gonna be just sitting around waiting for whoever's left to extract with their big bowl of loot. So, oh, hey, here you go. If you learned anything from any of my Ghosted to War videos, apparently, pack a lunch, guys. Food and drink is so important. Uh, I like to wing it. I like to pretend that every single raid I'm going to get what I need. Don't bring a backpack. I'll get one. Don't bring food and water. It's okay. We'll find some. We never pick up the food we find. We never take any of the food we find. I'll just pick it up and eat it. I'll use it when we find it. Nope. Never happens. Never works out that way. So pack a lunch. Or at least make sure you're full between uh, raids. Or pro tip, here's a here's a fun pro tip. Between each successful raid, do a small raid naked so you can just die and get reset. And then you get free food and water again and go load yourself back up, go back out and continue what you were doing, you know? That's that is the pro to bore. Uh, that's the meta guys. That's the meta right there. You heard it here first You don't need food you don't need water you don't even need nerds You just gotta get out Then go in naked and die boom free reset And that's me going on for a good 20 minutes. There's a well, this clip was 27 minutes, but I think I'm going to edit it down a lot, so... Uh, well, now I can't because I talked, and my talking was timed with some of the... Man, editing is hard, and when you don't do it for a week, sometimes you forget little things like, Hey, if you talk while you're watching the video, you can't edit it because then your stuff that you said will be out of place. Like when you were talking about the guy down below the window, I can't edit that. I can't take three minutes out. And then fill three minutes of, oh man, <sighs> there, that's a little look inside the butcher's butt, or it, no, you could put your head up a butcher's at, no, look, you can't fool me twice, And that was a moment of silence for comedy. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I think that catches everybody up with everything. Like I said, real life had a little incident, so I couldn't use any of my stuff. Haven't been able to play a lot of VR, and there haven't been a lot of games out. I, there hasn't been anything. And then every time I find something that looks interesting, it's just not, so. 
and still looking for something to play on the couch with the wife that would be fun for uh, just playing, making videos, streaming, whatever. Haven't figured that out yet. Haven't found one that just hits right. That's the problem is nothing hits right. So still looking for that. There's, it's like knowing what you want. It's like it exists, but they just need to add couch co-op to it. So until somebody makes that game, I can't, I can't find it. I have to just wait till somebody else is like, yeah, I want to play couch co-op and I want to do all these things. Oh, you know what? Actually, seven days to die. Seven days to die is actually what I'm talking about for the most part. If I were to say it out like on paper, you would all say, oh, have you played seven days to die? And I would be like, yeah, but it sucks because the PC is so far ahead and the console is so far behind and they can't swap because of a bunch of shit that happened in the background with legal stuff and blah, 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 blah. And guess what? Later this month, Seven Days to Die got the upgrade or the update and it's finally actually coming out of beta and being released on console and on PC. So they didn't tell us that it was going to be on the consoles too. So I might actually get the update to Seven Days to Die. And if that's the case, me and my wife played the shit out of that game. We love that game. It's exactly what I'm talking about. It's Minecraft and zombie survival and just like open. And it's so fucking cool. And uh, if they upgraded it to the console, like where the console was, whatever it was, Alpha 19 or an Alpha 20. Oh my God expect me and my wife to be playing that and anybody else who can join the server that I that we make we will will have a fun little like seven days to die romp uh, if you made it this far and you're interested in that then leave comments and say hey I play seven days to die on your server or blah 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 uh, and we we will make that happen because that was one of my favorite things about that game is you can like make your own little private world and have your friends and shit. So uh, anyway, that's uh, that's my piece. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye. Uh, uh, uh. Mom wants you to subscribe if you could, please. Thank you.